How can you recognize and diagnose diabetes? The simplest way is to measure the amount of a sugar called glucose in a sample of your blood. An abnormally high result confirms the presence of diabetes mellitus, which is incurable. What does abnormally high mean? If a fasting blood glucose result is equal to or more than 126 milligrams per deciliter of blood on two separate occasions, the diagnosis is diabetes mellitus. If a non-fasting blood sugar value is equal to or higher than 200 milligrams per deciliter on two separate dates, the diagnosis of diabetes is confirmed. If a single non-fasting sugar value is above 200 milligrams per deciliter and you have the signs or symptoms of diabetes, then this one result verifies the presence of diabetes and does not need to be repeated a second time. Why do abnormally high blood sugar values show up? A non-diabetic person's fasting blood sugar values are always much lower than 126 milligrams per deciliter. So, unusually high blood sugars indicate abnormal diabetic functioning of your pancreas. The pancreas is the organ that produces the hormone insulin, which keeps blood glucose values within a normal non-diabetic range of approximately 71 to 99 milligrams per deciliter. Is there another way to diagnose diabetes mellitus? Yes, there is another measure of blood glucose called the A1C percent, sometimes used to diagnose diabetes, but the A1C percent only gives an average result, not a precise diagnostic value of 126 milligrams per deciliter while fasting or 200 milligrams per deciliter if not fasting. If you have diabetes, everything you learn today can benefit you in the care and self-care of this incurable condition. What you know is power and health. I am Dr. Stan from Diabetes Done Right. I've lived with type 1 diabetes for more than 56 years. Contact me or my colleagues in Mexico, Spain, and the United States when you're looking for honest, effective guidance in your journey to well-being with diabetes. In this video, you learned to recognize and diagnose diabetes. In the following video, We'll look into the differences in the four types of diabetes.